We I, asked you guys for inspiration. So Daniel Robinson, we asked, and you did give us the goods. He asked, he has some rhubarb left over. He, knows, he needs to know what to do with it. Uh, will it work well with rum? Also, Rasmus Dew um, has asked for you to use something with anise or licorice yeah. flavor. So, rhubarb, rum, anise, and licorice, go. <laughs> right, well, uh, that, that all sounds amazing. It's a wonderful flavor combination. I love all of that. Like, rhubarb and anise is a brilliant flavor. It's wonderful. Problem is, rhubarb is out of season at the moment. Oh. So what we tried to do, we, we tried to, you know, use our imaginations to find a similar sort of flavor. Yep. And we decided that rooibos tea would do a similar job. It has a nice sort of fruitiness to what it. What kind of tea? Rooibos tea. Rooibos tea. Yeah, it's this stuff. Um, well, actually, it's this stuff, in fact. There you go. All oh, right. Look at that. Rooibos tea. So how do you make this stuff? So, well, what we did is we basically infused it. We made a strong tea and then we uh, put one part of sugar to one part of this tea, so we make a syrup, and then, to funk it up a little bit, give it a bit more zing, we put- To give it the funk? To give it the funk, we, uh, we got this stuff, it's ascorbic acid, right. and it's basically like the citrus flavor without the citrus. So it's like putting lemon or lime in your drink without putting juice the in juice. it. And that's basically turned into a cordial, and we're gonna be really, really simply be mixing that with rum, and the anise flavor, we're gonna get it from a little bit of fennel down the bottom here. Nice. So, Prices. While you're doing that, I'm just going to crack on with this. Woo! So I'm just going to take a small little slice of that, drop it in the bottom there. So this is the robo robust, robust cordial. cordial. Yeah. So Sweet. sugar, rooibos tea, and a bit of citric acid or ascorbic it's acid. Lovely, man. Yeah, really good stuff. Quite and tart. It, it's really <laughs> sweet. It it lasts in the fridge a long time. It's kind of there we go. So you can just make a big batch of it and kind of use it over and over exactly. again. Exactly. It, it's brilliant. You can use it in all sorts of stuff. Make it like like uh, like you would like a squash of some sort. That's just what I'm saying. I, just, well, I wouldn't mind that. We just like some you know watering on some ice. Yeah. No, we were doing that all afternoon. All afternoon. You're crazy, man. So let's you just. I want to party with you. Smell that. It's gonna be great. Woo! Lovely. So it's uh, one part of this tea syrup and then four parts of rum. Did you say tincture? Tea syrup. Oh, tea syrup. Tea cordial. It's tea a, cordial. It's a cordial, isn't it? Right. All right. And then four parts of rum. So we four put, parts of rum. So we put 15 milliliters of the cordial, so yep. we're going to need to put 60 milliliters of rum, which is right to the top. Boom. Straight in the glass, no spillage. And, and what rum are you rocking there? You're rocking a... Yeah, a nice sort of light Cuban light. style rum yep. would be, is, is ideal for this. You want something that's going to be quite fresh. Yeah, so you're not going dark, you're not going kind of spice, you're going more no. light. Yeah, lighter. I think yeah. light, lighter works well with this. A sort of nice sort of fragrancy, that's what we want to play with here. So at least we're just going to, we're going to stir this. We're not going to shake it or throw it as we learned yesterday because we want it to be really still. We want it to be, kind of have a lot of uh, mouth feel, a lot of texture in the mouth. You want it to be still. To be so still. It's kind of crazy because yesterday we were doing the crazy hack with like, you know, the air, yeah. airing it all out and, exactly. and bringing more flavors to it. We you want more stillness. Exactly. We, we don't want that aeration in this drink so much. So we're going to literally just stir it and just leave it nice and crisp and clean like a uh, crystal, crystal like is the texture okay. we're looking for. And we're just going to strain it into a chilled, Coupette cocktail glass. Coupette. Like so. We're gonna just finish that. We're gonna go with just a little spray of lemon just on the top, just to kind of bring that citrusy notes back. Okay. And there we go. And then just chuck you it away. You could have lit that lemon on fire if you Could were. have done, could have done. <laughs> I like, quite like the, the, the kind of the, the, the fragrancy, the delicacy of it. Okay, you didn't want to make no it too enhanced. Yeah. There you okay, go. so this is more of a delicate kind of still. So what is this called? We call it a ruby gimlet or a rooibie gimlet. A, a, a Roy B. Let's call it a Ruby Gimlet. Ruby, Ruby Gimlet. Gimlet. <laughs> All right, so there is a Ruby Gimlet. Let's give it a shot. I'm, ex I'm excited about this. Mm. Oh, bro. It's all right? That is really, really good, Where man. You, you check that out, dude. That it's is, just total theory, this drink. That is all. Well, yeah, but the thing is, you guys, wow. he, just, he just made that up, man. Hey, that works. That, hey, you here, go? here, here, listen, we're doing these all weekend. You try that, man. Yeah. So, that's lush. <laughs>